floorboards. Who? It's a religious experience. Hey, now that you heard them, what do you think about Under the Floorboard podcast? Eh, I heard better. I need more time than that. You're not going to limit me. No, because I have way too many nice things to say about these guys. Actually, I don't need that much time. Yeah. They're not very good people. Then I can feel myself hovering over my own body. And the words are more like poetry yeah. than... I don't know. Sounds like some Edgar Allan Ho shit. What's up, everybody? My name is David Liz, and I am the director of The Welder. And this message is for Under the Floorboards. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for indie filmmakers, indie films. Your love for indie movies is clear and evident, and it's contagious. And I just appreciate everything you've done for the community. Like, sometimes when I hear John and Eric talk, I'm like, is that you, God? <laughs> is that is it you, God? It's me, Or is that Charlie Alicia. Day? But they're kind of like the Grinch. Like, they don't have a heart. They just have massive cervixes. Um, and if you say anything nice about them, their cervixes grow like five times the size of a normal cervix. And it's... Under the floorboards? Yeah, they're good guys. I think they were expecting a horror movie from me and not like a really whiny drama, but... Is it... Are you there, God? No. The answer is no. But you know who is? John and Eric. So keep it up. Don't stop. And... I love you guys. Peace. Woo! Yeah. They're great. Am I being paid for this? Alexa, call my manager, please. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another riveting edition of Under the Floorboards, where we laugh at the creatures that go bump in the night. I am your host, John, joined as always by my beautiful co-host, Eric. Eric. Where the fuck is, where the fuck is Eric? Do you, do you know where he is? Fuck me, man. <laughs> Nice of you to join us. Fabulous. All right. Well, with that, thank you, everybody, for joining us for the very first UTF Indie Horror Awards show. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, tonight we're paying homage to the motherfuckers who bring the heart to horror with blood sacrifices. Dude, what the actual fuck? I don't know, man. I'm just really excited to pull some attention to these people that are so creative and so wonderful and brought us so much joy in this current year. Let's get to the first category, motherfuckers. And our first award tonight is for what we consider to be the backbone of indie horror, the ones that make it rain blood. This award gives the best special effects, and the nominees are... Best Special Effects... Cody Rutch, Phantom Fun World. Derek Worley, Late Checkout. Tom Devlin, Time's Up. Wolf Hollow Team of Wolf Hollow. And the winner is... Derek Worley, Late Late Checkout. Also, happy birthday, Derek. You did it. You made it another year around the sun. One more year of making it rain blood. Well... Here are a few words from Derek. Congratulations, bud. Hi, Derek Worley here. Thrilled to be accepting uh, the award for best special effects for my work in Late Checkout. Um, This is actually my first time ever winning an award for any of my FX work, so this is kind of a cool thing. Um, So shout out to all the folks over under the floorboards for putting this on and uh, for nominating uh, Late Checkout for a couple different things. And uh, also... It's cool getting to see so many people I've worked with and so many people I'm friends with uh, nominated for so many different things. So uh, they're doing something really cool here and uh, it's, it's awesome to be involved. Uh, late Checkout was 
I mean, a ton of fun to make. We we had so much fun getting absolutely covered in blood every single day for the duration of the shoot and of course working with so many really close friends of mine. It, it was a ton of fun. And so, you know, again, shout out to the folks over at Under the Floorboards for putting this thing on and uh, to all my friends and family for supporting me and, uh, you know, helping support me and getting me to this, uh, to this level to be doing this uh, pretty much as my everyday job <laughs> and uh always of course a huge shout out to iron maiden for inspiring me every single day of my life and being the soundtrack to all the effects that i do every day we're jamming it on set so thank you again everybody for uh for you know tuning into this show and uh for supporting independent film supporting all these incredible artists and uh for supporting under the floorboards thank you our next award goes to the person who takes the dead space out of a movie and turns it into a riveting, heart-pounding banger. This award is for best score, and as we found this year, the absolute titan of indie horror score and music writing. And the nominees are... Best score... Frank Dormani, Watchdog. Frank Dormani, Phantom Fun World. Frank Dormani, Late Checkout. The winner is Frank Dormani, Phantom Fun World. Give it up for Frank, everybody. And now a few words from Frank himself. Hey guys, Frank Dormani here, composer of Phantom Fun World, Late Checkout, Watchdog, and so much more. Just want to say a big thank you to John and Eric for awarding me Best Original Score, nominated for Phantom Fun World, Watchdog, and Late Checkout. Um, these guys are great and they run a great podcast. So thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoy these movies. And don't go anywhere, anyone. We've got upcoming performances by Poltergeist OD, Whoa. as well as the world premiere of the 4K trailer for Clay Zombie's Christmas special. Whoa. But first, a word from a podcast you should be listening to. What's good, everybody? I'm Brian. And I'm Ashley. And together we host the Killer Point of View podcast, a podcast centered around horror movies. You can catch us every other Tuesday alongside our other co-hosts, Joe and Jamie, across all streaming platforms hopefully we see you soon welcome back everybody to the first annual under the floorboards indie horror show and welcome to one of the most debated categories this year the element that ultimately makes or breaks a film the part that pulls you into the gravity of the story and creates the world around you the nominees for best cinematography are best cinematography tyler horner the woodman David Liz, The Welder. John Eisberg, Final Summer. Sean McDaniel, Malum. Michelle Kwong, Exposure. And the flory goes to... David Liz, The Welder. Congratulations, David. You did an amazing job this year. And here are a few words from David. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is David Liz and I'm the director of The Welder. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank Under the Floorboards for not only nominating our film, but also awarding it Best Cinematography at the first annual Under the Floorboards Film Festival. Thank you so much, guys. I am extremely grateful and honored not only to win the award, but also to just be a part of the very first Under the Floorboards Film Festival, which I am sure will grow up to become an amazing and huge film festival. And I know this because the guys running the festival are just simply badasses. They're great guys. They know what they're doing. They love film. And that's what it takes to make a film festival work. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you again for the award. I appreciate you and can't wait till next year. Peace. Stories are something that give us the ability to feel everything from empowerment to depravity. Things that we can relate with the unimaginable yeah, these stories bring us from our own realities to newly cultivated worlds the next flory goes to best screenplay and the nominees are best screenplay tori jones phantom fun world peter cannon exposure david liz the welder lc holt watchdog Mark Cantu and Brian Saponis, Wolf Hollow. And the winner is... Peter Cannon. 
exposure. Did an amazing job this year, Peter. Thank you so much. And now a few words from Peter. Hi, I'm Peter. I wrote and directed Exposure. Uh, I want to thank Under the Floorboards. When Under the Floorboards reached out to me about Exposure, I'd never actually done a podcast. That stuff actually makes me pretty nervous. I'm a behind-the-camera kind of person. We were going to talk about Black Swan, and so I rewatched the entire movie, wrote copious notes, beat by beat about it, found all the trivia I could, watched all the behind-the-scenes I could, because I... I I don't know, I guess I was kind of worried about screwing it up or something. But um, they made it fun, welcoming, and it was a good time. And I'm really honored that John and Eric had me on their podcast, and I just, I love the community that they're building out there. Uh, also, this is the first thing Exposure's ever won. I think this is like the first thing I've ever won that wasn't from a scam film festival, so this floorboard is going on my wall. Uh, thank you, John and Eric, and congratulations to all the other nominees and winners. Take care. We'll be right back, but first, another message from a podcast that you should be listening to. Hi, I'm Michelle. And I'm Alicia. And this is Ramley Rod's podcast. And if you're looking for a podcast that likes to talk about dark social commentary and diarrhea and creepy facts and don't forget never-ending rambling, then you can check us out every other Sunday on Spotify and Apple. Later, taters. Bye. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. This next category is about those images that burn deeply into your brain, where cinematography, acting, sound design, and most importantly, gallons of blood come together in one final moment. And with that, the best kill. The nominees are... Best kill. Molly Souza, Late Checkout. Bailey Harrington, The Woodman. Sarah Mae Robinson, Life of Bell. Lynn Lowry, Wolf Hollow. Damien Maffei, Time's Up. And the Flory goes to... Molly Souza, Late Checkout. Good job with the slaughter, girl. <laughs> <laughs> now a few words from Molly. And our next award goes to those who run that so that others can soar. The one that puts the weapon in the final girl's hand and the one that puts the axe in the murderer's hand. The contrast of the main characters and slashers, the iconoclast. The support, if you will. <laughs> and the role for best supporting role goes to. Best supporting role. Christ Mauer, the welder. Matthias Margraves, the Wendigo. Spencer Madison, Phantom Fun World. Chaney Morrow, Malum. Brandon Crumb, Wolf Hollow. And the Flory goes to Chaney Morrow, Malum. Congratulations, Chaney. Now, a few words from Chaney Morrow. Hey, this is uh, Chaney Morrow, and I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the Under the Floorboards uh, Independent Horror Award. Uh, for my participation in the movie Malum. That's, uh, it's incredible. It's a, it's a real honor, man. The list of nominees was uh, fantastic. Uh, I'm so flattered, man, uh, that, that you guys thought of me. Um, I, I, I'm really, it's, uh, I'm kind of speechless, man. I appreciate it more than, than, than you're likely to understand. Uh, I guess I'll dedicate this, though, to uh, Anthony de Blasi, um, the writer director behind this, uh, the madness uh, uh, that was Malum. I really appreciate him letting me be a part of the world, you know, and uh, the wonderful cast of people he put together. Man, it was, uh, it was a wonderful experience, and to be recognized for it, man, makes, uh, uh, makes me feel incredible. Uh, so thanks again, uh, Under the Floorboards podcast. You are, uh, uh, I am indebted. Thank you so much, and uh, I will see you guys uh, around. Keep killing. Now give it up for our musical guest. The man your playlist is in dire need of. The one and only Poltergeist O.D. O.D. Cause 
I couldn't afford to do a horror score with Danny Elfman, but I dropped dads off Nash Pierce Bros, and I chopped the clear off. Think I'm weird? Stop it, these bitches fraud. I got two bras. Sarah Jessica Parker, you dog. I won't be hanging around for too long. I don't wanna remain in the ground for too long. We come in peace. Y'all leaving pieces. Y'all looking at me like I even need some reasons here. Fuck the world. You call me red. You won't even get a single nickel, son I'ma reap what you simpleton So when the sickle's done This is some awful experiment They're aware of it Why you think the eye is at the top of the pyramid? Bitch, I'm here to incinerate Here to disintegrate Eradicate your planet's race And I'ma make sure you feel the bite like eradicate That was corny as fuck But this whole track is yeah. And I don't give a fuck at that Poltergeist OD. Everyone, make sure you're checking him out on all streaming platforms. And be sure to follow him on Instagram at Poltergeist OD to look for all of his upcoming events as well as all of his upcoming tracks and performances. And speaking of performances, there are certain performances that only come around so often. Sometimes they rip your heart out, literally. Yeah, and sometimes they take that Negan back to the back of our noggins. Nominees for best performances are Best Performance. Felissa Rose, Late Checkout. Spencer Madison, Wolf Hollow. Camilla Rodriguez, The Welder. Serene Robinson, Life of Bell. And the floor goes to... Spencer Madison, Wolf Hollow. Congratulations, Spencer. You absolutely fucking killed it this year. And now a few words from Spooky. Hey everybody, Spooky Madison here, coming on to not only thank Under the Floorboards podcast for nominating me for the best performance in Wolf Hollow, but for also awarding me best performance in Wolf Hollow. I appreciate you guys so much. You are, if not the most, but at least one of the most supportive people in the indie community that I think I've ever met. You're constantly sharing my posts and my work, and I mean, you're amazing. So thank you so much for this award. I appreciate you. And um, I can't wait to show you what's next. The spirit of the final girl is something that lives inside each and every one of us. It does not bend or break. It survives and it thrives. So let's check out this year's nominees for the final girl spirit award. Best final girl. Donna Clary, The Woodman. Christina Kronkowski and Brandon Crumb, Wolf Hollow. Celeste Blandon. Phantom Fun World. Camilla Rodriguez, The Welder. Kamara Cole and Bailey Harrington in Late Checkout. And the floor he goes to. Kamara Cole and Bailey Harrington in Late Checkout. Congratulations. And now a few words from Kamara and Bailey. Hey guys, it's Bailey, and I just want to thank the guys from Under the Floorboards for nominating me and choosing me for the Final Girl Award and sending me this golden floorboard. 
I love it so much and I'm just so incredibly thankful for the experiences that I had on set and for being chosen for the Final Girl Award. So thank you so much for sending me this, John and Eric. I appreciate it so much and I can't wait to see who else won all the other awards. Thank you. And don't go anywhere. We got a lot more show to go, including our 4K trailer from Clay Zombie's Christmas special. But first, a word from our sponsors, us. Fucking do it, man. It's okay. I swear to God, it's okay. I can't fucking do it. I can't. Just fucking do it. I can't. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it, man. I can't do it. Fucking do it. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on this bloody wonderful day. For this next award, you're going to want to bring your own body bag because these nominees took no prisoners this year. And slashing our way to the top with the nominees for Batty of the Year are... Batty of the Year. Kamara Cole. Time's up. Brian Saponis. Wolf Hollow. Felissa Rose. Late checkout. Wes Robinson, Watchdog. LC Holt, Phantom Fun World. And the Flory goes to Wes Robinson, Watchdog. And now a few words from Wes. Congratulations, Wes. So my original plan was to accept this award on a motorcycle, you know, strolling through the streets, maybe a leather jacket, slick back hair. Uh, you know, true badass image for everyone to see. Instead, I'm in ghost face pajamas. I'm drinking tea. Just had surgery, so I have stitches. And you know what? I, I, I didn't cry about it. So I think I am a baddie of the year. So thank you to UTF. And um, thank you to everyone who supported Watchdog. Appreciate you. There's nothing quite like blood, guts, and entrails to bring people closer together and make them fall in love. Or something like that. Yeah, the nominees for this year's award brought us definitely a little bit closer together. The nominees for Best Lovers are... Best Lovers. UTF and Your Mom. Lucas Dunaway and Jordan Polinska in Wolf Hollow. Alexis Gilmore and Bryce Johnson in Willow Creek. Camila Rodriguez and Roe Dunkley in The Welder. And the floor he goes to. 
Lucas Dunaway and Jordan Polinska Wolf in Hollow. Wolf Hollow. Let's get it, boys. Congratulations, and now a few words from those two. Hi everyone, it's Jordan Plaskina from Wolf Hollow. Thank you so much for all the love and support and thank you to Under the Floor Podcasts for allowing us to accept this wonderful award. I love you all and bye. Hi everyone, it's Lucas Dunaway. Thank you so much uh, for the award. You know, being considered a great lover is something that I'm used to. Just kidding. Uh, you know, anytime that you are recognized for any kind of work that you do in a film, uh, it's an incredible feeling. Uh, thank you to Under the Floorboards for following my career and being so supportive. Um, Wolf Hollow was an incredible script, so you know we have to thank Mark Cantu for creating the characters of Timmy and Benji and uh, giving them that kind of great warm love that you maybe don't always see in films. Um, and uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone who has watched and supported Wolf Hollow. I'm certainly going to add um, Incredible Lover to my resume. Uh, let's hope that will lend me some roles in the future. Hmm. Anyway, thank you all so much. I appreciate it, and uh, I'm very honored. Now check out the world premiere of Clay Zombie's Christmas special trailer in 4K coming at you in 2023 holidays. Hello, who are you? No need to take aim. Much time has passed since the clay zombies first came. Don't be shy, take a seat by the fire. There's a story I'd like to share, my heart's true desire. You know what I really miss? Chris. A young boy needs our help. Would you play Santa Claus? What? <laughs> Chadwick, have you been hit in the chest, gorilla? Is the werewolf, warlock, vampire, notary, quibrid here by the name of Kristoff? Yes, I'm Kristoff. Kristoff, oh my god, we need your help! It's little Sammy! Ha ha ha! At last! Kristoff, we meet again! You can't beat me! How fucking rad was that, guys? Welcome back. Right? Sometimes good things do come in small packages, much like our next category, which is for best short film. The short board award nominees are... Short board award. Van Hensley in Hit and Run Massacre. Adam Kirkey, Greed and Gore. Jake Robinson, They Are Here. And the flurry goes to... They are here. Jake Robinson. Mr. Robinson, congratulations. And now, a few words from Jake. Wow. Thank y'all for making They Are Here the best horror short. I am lost for words. Thank you to the cast and crew for making this such a kick-ass, scary short. It's going to be part of something bigger early 2024. Keep your eyes peeled. And I just want to thank y'all for hosting your first annual award show. Y'all are killing it. And as always, thank you for always supporting Indie Horror. Y'all are amazing. John, if you find this, delete my browser history. As we reflect on the amazing films that we watched this year, we actually begin to look to the future at all of these amazing indie films that will be coming out in 2024, and here's what's coming your way. The next award is for the most anticipated film of 2024. The nominees are... Most anticipated film of 2024. Dark Circles. Crust. The Boy from Below. The Well Exposure And the floor he goes to Boy from Below Now here are a few words from Tori Jones Congratulations 
What's up, everybody? Thank you so much to Under the Floorboards and to John for this awesome award, most anticipated film of 2024. I cannot say thank you enough. We are so excited to be back on set and to bring this next film to life. It's our biggest film to date. So many awesome surprises and things in store for fans of Jonestown Films, our supporters, and fans of the Wicked One character. So cannot wait for you guys to see all that we have cooking up. And thank you guys so much for this award. It means the world to us because we do this for fans of independent film and for those that have supported us. So thank you guys so much for this award. Can't say that enough. Under the floorboards, give them a like, give them a share, subscribe to them. Yeah, thank you guys so much. And don't go anywhere, guys. We're about to be back with our most coveted award of the evening, the Golden Floorboard. But first, here are some podcasts that you should be listening to. Welcome to Partners in Fright, a husband and wife team who dive into campy, obscure, and underrated horror films. Join Devin and Joe each week as we turn off the lights, press play, and dissect what movies are hidden gems and which ones should be left in the dark. back everybody and thank you for joining us on the very first under the floorboards indie horror award show and now it is time for us to unveil our very first golden floorboard yeah sometimes all the elements just come together we laughed we cried we threw up blood yeah. this year's Especially golden for my butt <laughs> this year's award for best film of 2023 and the coveted golden floorboard award goes to Wolf, Wolf Hollow. Hollow. Mark fucking Cantu is going to be accepting on behalf of Wolf Hollow. Here are a few words from Mark. But I want to I want to say this was a win for the entire fucking 100%. cast and crew. Congratulations to everyone. Incredible. But here's a few words from Mark, as Eric was trying to say. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, again, this is writer director Mark Cantu um, accepting. Uh, the the award for uh the golden floorboard which is uh yeah it's a little a little odd um when when the guys let me know that uh that this was coming my way i my first reaction was i think you have the wrong email or the the, the wrong dm so try somebody else um but in all honesty I, it, it was definitely a, a huge surprise uh so so i just want to say thank you to the guys that <laughs> at under the floorboards again, like a, it, it's definitely a welcome honor. Um, it's very humbling. Um, I, I, again, like I said, I, I don't expect, I don't put myself in that category ever mentally. So uh, to, to be told that like, this is your accepting of this thing. So it, it's just, it catches you off guard. So thank you very much guys. I appreciate that. Um, but again, as I said before with, with the, uh, accepting the award for, for Wolf Hollow, uh, spoiler alert, in case you didn't see that one. Um, it, it's, it's always a team effort. I cannot do this without the people behind me. Um, so, uh, specifically, uh, especially on Wolf Hollow, but, uh, like I said, in life in general, uh, my wife Liz is, is a huge, like I said, reason why I'm where I'm at right now. Um, and then obviously on, on Wolf Hollow, like I said, uh, Brian Sponis, Dan Kearney, um, like I said, uh, Christina Krakowski, like uh, the, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, so, so I just want to say thank you to all of them for helping get us all here so I can kind of be pointed at and go, oh yeah, this guy knows, he's, knows what he's doing. I know how to hire well and I know how to keep myself surrounded with, with talented, creative people um, that continue to push me to do my best work as well. So Felissa Rose, Lynn Lowry, Hannah Fearman, um, and, and the list, like I said, just goes on. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. It's extraordinarily humbling uh, to, to receive something like this. Um, but it pushes me again to want to do my best work moving forward into our next projects. So um, 
with that, like I said, moving into our next movie grind, like I said, we're, we're definitely going to try and push even further. Um, but again, always giving people a safe space to come back to, to, to perform and to do their best work. And I feel like that's probably what the guys are recognizing me for is, is giving everybody a safe space to kind of come in and, and do their best work and, 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 uh, be extraordinarily supportive every single day of that process of the creative process. Um, so thank you guys for, for recognizing that, that we value that in our, in our process for, for making movies. So, um, cause this can be a tough, tough business, but it doesn't always have to be, it, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. So, um, so that's what we aim for. So thank you guys so much for this. Um, love you guys. Your dad is proud of you guys as well. My cervix is throbbing for you all. I love you. I will see you at the next premiere. Maybe, maybe. Thank you all once again for joining Under the Floorboards at our first annual award show for Indie Horror Films 2023. Congratulations to all of our nominees, to all of our winners from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for everything that you poured into us for this year. And as usual, thanks for joining us where it creaks, it cracks, and we laugh at the creatures that go bump in the night. And playing us out, give it up one more time for Poltergeist OD! Still scared of clowns? Yeah. Well, whoop de goddamn you do. Look at have your goons and cotton candy cocoons. And I'll show up to your party with a couple of hoes. Trapped in balloons like a damn cartoon. I've blown past the moon or run your window. We'll talk out your lucky girdles. I came from a shooting star. Shooting popcorn, not like until you're on trying. Lock me up and smash your face into these bars. What the fine bastard? Face white as crackers. Break the dead silence with laughter. I'm the master. Bypass for your girl to the circus after a smasher. So I can bash her with a giant hammer. What tarnation? Who's in our basement? Knock, knock. That's not the pizza man, baby. No patience. Teeth like rain. Is amazing, racing tricks, traps, and mazes. It's getting harder and harder to circumvent. Pop a couple of these burgers and land it in a circus and down, beat them down. I'm a clown. Kill em. Don't worry, all we want to do is kill ya. All we want to do is kill ya. All we want to do is kill ya. It's getting harder with all to the dark. Can't move the tarp on this amusement park. Down, beat them down. I'm a clown. Kill em. Don't worry, all we want to do is kill ya. All we want to do is kill ya. All we want to do is kill ya. It's getting harder and harder to circumvent. Can't pull the tarp on this amusement park. Damn, beat him down. I'm a clown. Kill ya. Don't worry. All we want to do is kill ya. All we want to do is kill ya. <laughs> All we wanna do is kill you around Pound for pound with the killer clown It's scum like me that's killing this town I'm just on an adventure like a knight with Rich and Paul Sipping your liquefied insides through a crazy straw I've been at the top of the world since day one I'll be at your funeral holding a ray gun Just look for the guy with the reddest nose And pressing cold with the dead cop putting on a puppet show Nothing on this rock can move me, sock it to me, I'm ready to cut you off like Mooney. I left a surprise in your laundry hand, knock your block off, back alley boxing champ. You're gonna need a bigger fucking knife to pull. Roll a shorty killer on a tricycle, I'm turning you into a fucking icicle. Your character was never even likable. I'm dressed for a party in the middle of the woods, in a tent with the intent to be giving you the goods. Sticking him up with some foreign substances, sipping him up just for the sustenance. Y'all never had to shovel shit and you scared of clowns, what a bunch of kids. Go run and hide, boys, get inside, boys, hey, put you gonna do with those pies, boys? Jeepers creep. Where'd you get those eyes, boys? Shit, I must be high, boys. 